We had the visit of the vice president and we also had the democracy summit. UPND indeed and in a way has demonstrated that it is a democratic party. Yes. Yes. Of all the countries in the world, they, they found it fit that Zambia should host the democracy summit. It shows that our democracy is alive and well. And the international record that we have in this country, in, in, around the world, is so much magnificent. Oh, yes. Yes. The Vice President of the United States of America, who happens to be one of the most powerful human beings that we have on Earth, visited Zambia. Yeah. And we as UPND in Lusaka District, we want to express our utmost gratitude for our visit here because it has yielded so much fruits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We as UPND in Lusaka District, are very much happy for the leadership of President Daga Ende Ichirema, who has continued to go around the, around the world to look for opportunities for ordinary Zambians. The president of this country has continued to engage different countries. Yes. And he made it clear in his speech when he said that he is willing and he is going to engage with any country provided that these people and these countries they bring sustainable development to our country. Yeah. The visit of the of the of the of the vice president to this country did not come as a mere show, but as a visit that has brought development to this country, and that is the reason why we as UPND here in Lusaka district are so much happy because of the following uh, issues that were discussed. One of the things that the the, the visit of the Vice President has brought to this country is that Zambia is going to see over 500 million US dollars that will be pumped in bilateral assistance between Zambia and, and the US. <laughs> Furthermore, the US government has pledged to continue to support the Zambian government and they are offering 1.5 million US dollars in, in fertilizer fund. You are aware, comrades. You are aware, countrymen and women. You are aware, countrymen and women, that Zambia has been plugged with a, with a shortage of fertilizer. Yes. We had our farmers suffering in terms of accessing physics, yeah. accessing fertilizer. Yeah. But now, through the help of the United States government, we are told that 1.5 million US dollars is going to be pumped to help farmers. This is going to help. This is going to help Zambia to have a bumper harvest in terms of uh, you know, you know, growing of our crops. It's going to ensure that Zambia has got a food security. It is for this reason that us as UPND in Lusaka district, we are very much happy for the visit of the vice president. Countrymen and women, comrades, you are aware that Zambia in the recent weeks and months has had the challenge of, of energy. We had issues of electricity. Oh, yes. We had issues of road shedding. Yes. As if this was not enough, we had many challenges that were happening, but the United States government was observing the challenges that Zambia had. Oh, yeah. They saw it fit to send the Vice President of the United States to come and help us with the issues of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the US government now has, has promised this country is that they are going to help in terms of you know, you know, renewable, renewable energy. They have pumped billions of US dollars in, this, in, the, in our renewable energy, which is a step in the right direction. Yes. Because all the people, most of the people, majority of the of the population is going to have power in this country yes. through the help of the United States government. We as UPND in, 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 in Lusaka district, we are very much happy because government has had challenges to do with health care services. Yes. We have people that are living with HIV and AIDS in this country. For many years, the US government has been a partner to the government of this country, to the people of this country. 
what we have seen is so much remarkable because when millions of Zambians who are living with HIV and AIDS were, were supposed to die because of not having antiretrovirus drugs, ARVs, the US government has come on board and they have pledged that they are going to, to, to donate and give money to the tune of 571 million US dollars to this oh, government. So that, they can continue, so that they can continue to help people living with the HIV and AIDS. Yes. Of course, through organizations like, like, like PEPFA. Yes. We are very much grateful yeah. to the US government. As UPNDA, we know that the effort of President Agaende Chirema mm -hmm. is going to be supplemented by this government. Oh, yes. Yes. Comrades, we as UPND are very much happy because the majority of our women in this country have been marginalized. Yes. They have been crying for empowerment. For sure. Majority of our women who carry us on, on their backs sure. have been suffering. Yes. And now we are being told by the United States government that they are going to help women in the area of mining. Oh, yes. yes. 3.5 million US dollars is going to be pumped in the area of mining. Oh, yes. We as UPND in Lusaka district, we want to assure the, UP, the, the, the US government and any other country that wants to partner with this country, with Zambia, that they are welcome provided that they are helping to alleviate the lives of the Zambian people. Yes. Yes. Allow me to say that the, the democracy summit that we had in our country is a step in the right direction to show that Zambia is a democratic state. Oh, yes. But at this point, I want to say that we have challenges in this country with the, some opposition leaders that do not want to be reasonable. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have witnessed and observed how some other opposition leaders want to abuse the democracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. The president of this country has scrapped off the, the defamation clause of the president. He is there to demonstrate that he wants the opposition to speak yes. and to express themselves. Mm -hmm. But this freedom has been abused yes. by some opposition leaders. Yes. They, want to, they want to protest anyhow yeah. on issues that are not yeah. bringing food to the table of this country. Yeah. Yeah. They want yeah. to raise issues that are in Iraq when yeah. we have got issues here in Zambia. Yeah. 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 We are appealing. Yeah. We are appealing to the Zambia police. Yeah. We are appealing to investigative agencies and all the authorities. Yes. To begin to work together yes. with this government in terms of curtailing some of these people who are abusing their freedoms. Yes. Yes. The English people, the English people have got a saying that where your freedoms end, that's where another person's freedom begins. Yes. Yes. We are not going to allow, yeah. and this government is not going to allow people. You know, bringing anarchy in this country at the expense in the name of uh, freedom of expression. No, no. We cannot plan this country into chaos for the purposes of doing politics. No, no. no. This country is a peaceful country. Oh, yes. yes. And because it's a peaceful country, we want people to express themselves within the confines of the law. Yes. So some, of the, some of the demands that our friends in the patriotic front are, are expressing are realistic and are non-democratic. Yes, yes. They wanted to cause anarchy by protesting on the day of the democracy summit. But this government showed them that they, they are democratic, they allowed them to protest. No. It shows that we are democratic. Yes. When the PF were in power, they did not allow the media to express themselves. They closed down radio stations. Yes. They closed down TV stations. Yes. They arrested journalists. Yes. They arrested you and me for being in the opposition. Yes. But we have allowed them to operate. Oh. That we are democratic, yes. but if being democratic is not a sign of weakness. No. Yes. If the opposition they want to see 
how we are, yes. let them push us to the corner. Yes. Because we are not going to allow people to bring anarchy sure. in this country yes. because of freedom of expression. Okay. Because where their rights end, that's where our rights begin. Yes. We know, Mr. President, you are working very hard yes. to go out of this country to partner with different countries. Yes. But your efforts to do that have been received with mixed feelings by and progressive opposition leaders who are saying you are traveling too much. Yeah. We are saying that continue traveling yes. to yes. as many countries as you want yes. because your travels and your trips have brought billions of US dollars. Oh. in order to unlock the economy of this country, he must do so and he will travel to as many countries as he wants. Yeah. The, trip, the trip to many countries has brought in progressive change. Oh, yes. 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 You went to United Arab Emirates. Yes. They, they signed a deal yes. to bring energy, to bring solar plants oh, in this yeah. country. Yeah, yeah. The president went to Angola. Yeah. He signed the Rubito oil deal yes. that is going to ensure that we have got cheap fuel in this country. Yes. The, president, the president has gone to so many countries and signed bilateral agreements. Oh, yes. Our friends, when they were in the ruling party, they traveled with musicians and dancers to. Yes. to They did not bring change in this country. Yeah. Yeah. Lastly, as I conclude, I want to say that if there are people that must keep quiet as they wait and see us develop this country, yeah. it is the opposition, especially the PF. Yeah. Yes. We are in this mess because of the chaos yes. and the debt that the PF left. Yes. They borrowed money yes. to build mansions and to buy impasse and zebras at yeah. their backyard. Yeah. people to yeah. care about checks and balances in this yeah. country yes. because they made this country undemocratic. Yeah. Today as UPND in Lusaka district we have allowed them to put on t-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. During their time they did not allow yeah. UPND to put on t-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. They even attacked shop right workers for putting on lady regalia. Yeah. Yeah. They attacked Catholic people for putting on the red yes. Today we have allowed them to operate. We have allowed them because we are democratic. Yes. They must not abuse the freedom that they have been given in this country. Oh, yes. Because they planned this country into anarchy. Yes. We further wish the leadership of President Agaende Chirema. Yes. We wish the leadership of uh, special assistant to the president, oh, yes. Mr. Jito Kayumba, okay. for the economic policies and the economic advisory that is given to President Akainde Chirema. Yes. We further express our gratitude to their leadership. Yes. We express our, our gratitude to the leadership of uh, Batuke Imenda, Honorable Batuke Imenda, the Secretary General of the mighty UPND oh, yes. for his resilient leadership. Oh, yes. Furthermore, I wish to say that uh, moving forward, UPND shall continue to welcome defectors. Oh, yes. We are going to draw the party by allowing people to come and join us as a party. Yes. I thank you so much.